In this lecture, let's learn how to create and use a custom module in Node.js. A module is just another script file from where we can export some values. And then those exported values can be used in other script files by simply importing it. So from a module, we export some values and those exported values can be imported and used in other script files. Now, the main point to remember here is that each script file in Node.js is a module. For example, this app.js file which we have here, this is also a module in Node.js. Now, inside this app.js file, we are already importing some modules. So, for example, we are importing this readin module, this fs module, this http module and this url module. Now, these modules are the core modules. These modules are provided by Node.js environment. So, such modules we call as core modules. Then, we can also have user-defined modules or custom modules and then we can also have third-party modules or third-party libraries we have already seen some of the core modules in this lecture let's talk about user-defined modules so user-defined module is also called as custom module and the custom modules are basically the modules which we as a developer creates for example in this app.js file we are having this replace html function and currently we are using this replace html function at two places so we are using it here and we are also using it here but let's say there are other script files also which are interested in using this replace html function now the one solution here is we can export this replace html function from this app.js file so that would be one solution but instead of doing that, what we can do is we can create a separate module file and in that module file, we can define this function and we can also export this function from that module file. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So inside this Node.js basics, I'm going to create a new folder. I will call it modules and inside this modules folder, we are going to keep all our user defined modules. So inside this modules folder, I will create a new file. And I will call this file replace html.js. Now here, let's create a function using this function keyword. And this function is going to take two parameters. The first parameter is going to be template. And the second parameter is going to be product. Okay, so from the app.js, let's go ahead and let's copy this logic. And let's paste it here. Now what we want is, we want this function to be available in other script files also. And to do that, we need to export this function. And to export this function, we have this modules object, which is a global object in Node.js. And on that, we can call this export. Okay, and this is module. And this is exports. All right. So now, we are exporting this function definition using this module.exports. Now let's say we want to use this function in the app.js file. So for that, first we need to import this function in the app.js. And for importing a module, we already know that we need to use the require function. And to that require function, since we are using a custom module here, we need to pass the path of that custom module file. So in our case, it is in modules folder and the name of the file is replace HTML. Here, we do not need to include .js extension. And we know that this module, this replace HTML module, it is going to return us a function. Let's go ahead and let's store that function in a variable. For that, let me create a variable here. You can name this variable anything like X, Y, ABC, anything. But here, I'm going to call this variable as replace HTML. That's because we are already using this name at these two places. So here and here. If I name this variable something else, in that case, I will have to use that variable name and I will have to replace that variable name at these two places. Okay, so that's why I'm keeping this same name here. With this, let's save the changes. Let's also save this replace HTML module. 
let's go ahead and let's run app.js by typing this node space app.js command so here we have an error and the error says replace html has already been declared that's because since we have created a new module for this replace html function from the app.js we can remove this function okay i will simply comment it i will keep it for your reference let's save the changes now and let's go ahead and let's run app.js once more okay so the server has started let's go to the web page so here we can see all the products let me go to the home page so home page is working as expected let's go to the about page about page is working as expected let's go to the contact page contact page is also working as expected let's go to the products page and the products page is also displaying all the products so it is also working as expected and if i click on the show details it should also show us the product detail so that page is also working as expected and if i click on this back button we will be redirected back to this products page so our application is still working as expected the only change which we have done here is instead of creating and using the function in the same app.js file we are creating this replace html function in a separate script file and from there we are exporting that function so that we can use it in other script files as well so here we have created a user defined module and currently we are using this user defined replace html module in our app.js file so keep in mind that a module is nothing but just another script file from where we can export some values and that exported values can be used in other script files as well this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day